Hey friends, Knife Detector here, and guess what? I got another knife video for you. So I finally broke down and got one of these Rough Rider Classic Carbons, and this is a Classic Carbon 2. And if you remember a while back, I was on this Stockman knife kick, and I just kept buying a bunch of Stockman knives, okay? And I love the Stockman knife pattern. So I went ahead and I purchased this Rough Rider Classic Carbon 2 carbon steel with black micarta handles and it says the perfect everyday carry that never goes out of style now look at the work they put in this box look at this uh, silver foil embossing here i mean this is amazing right here the amount of work that goes into this box is just fantastic um i, I really like this box thing is i don't have the room to keep all these darn boxes right so let's see what the knife has to offer so in a little bit, I'm going to show you that too. But check this out. I mean, this is a beauty of a knife. And the thing I love about this knife really is its size. Because I don't like a Stockman that's kind of too small. I really like the Stockmans to be a good size to where I can really hold it and use the, the blades well and get some leverage behind it. How long is this bad boy? Let's move some stuff out of the way here. This is actually a, a flashlight holder, Kydex flashlight holder from Anxiety. Uh, if you recall, the company Anxiety sent me some really cool stickers and they sent me some really cool products, including Kydex sheaths and some knives. So I have some upcoming videos on that stuff, but I wanted to show you this really cool flashlight holder from Anxiety. Uh, the flashlight, I think, might be a generic brand, but um, it is an FS1118. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of flashlights with that with that will that this will hold so i'm sure that this flashlight holder will hold other flashlights as well and uh, i don't have any issues with that but this is a darn good flashlight okay um it just lights up everything so i really like this flashlight as well it's got this impact rim but this is not a review on the flashlight and i wanted to just show you this flashlight holder from anxiety it's really cool guys so i'm going to go ahead and leave anxieties uh, eBay information also on this video so that you can get a chance to look at their products and I'm going to be showing you some more of them as time goes on so we're going to leave that here in the background so check this thing out the thing that really caught my eye about this was the sheep's foot blade this sheep foot blade is just like it is no joke um, it's got this really knife, uh, really knife. It's got a really knife uh, swedge right here. Uh, I always confuse the word nice for knife for some reason. I guess maybe because I like knives so much, I think they're nice or knife. So check out this swedge. It's got it on both sides. So you see, it starts off thick and then it starts narrowing and narrowing, and then you got it thinner up here. This is just a gorgeous sheep foot, sheep's foot blade. I really like it. It is razor sharp it's a really nice blade um this is what won me over with this knife when i see a knife that has a really cool sheep's foot blade that's the thing that really gets me about the knife because i really like that style of blade and this is a beauty look at that that's what won me over but let's look, let's look at the other blades right i got a half stop right here nice snap let's look at the let's look at that blade there you go it's got a lot of oil guys this knife has a lot of oil. I mean, this blade has a lot of oil on the spade blade. But check it out. It's got a little bit of an area there, and there is even a swedge on that, that faux edge there on that uh, spade blade, which is kind of nice because, you know, you can has, has you can probably use that to, to maybe uh, do a little bit of scraping if you wanted to. But, but I like it because it just gives it a whole other dimension. I've never had a spade blade that has a little swedge to it. That's pretty darn cool. And also, this is extremely sharp. And this is like a modern version on a traditional uh, style of knife, right? Check out that inlay. I think that might be a pewter uh, inlay, and it's got the reverse RR on there for Rough Rider. Yeah, what's that? What's that on the bottom? It has the year 1994 on it. Huh, interesting. I think this is newer than 1994 maybe it's because that's when uh the company started but i know it started before then hmm i don't see a year on this box huh yeah because i've seen some really old rough riders that i've shown in some of my other videos so i don't know i don't know if maybe this style started in 1994 
or the company. But I know a lot of you guys know. So if you know, let me know in the comments. So let's close that one because I don't like to have too many blades open half stop at once. If not, I'm going to slice my phalanges. And I already have a kitty cat that's doing a lot of those things for me. Again, check out all this oil. Look at that. Man. If I took off all that oil, I could probably fry an egg with it. Man. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Again, you got your swedge. Look at that. Beautiful. I like that they did it in all three blades. There you have the number. What are we looking at here? We're looking at a Rough Rider 2214. That's the number. Let's look at the spacing, gapping, minuscule gapping. I mean, tiny, tiny gapping issues. This, to me, is a great knife. And this will be spending quite a bit of time in my pocket. Recently, I had to really look at my my uh, six drawer craftsman toolbox where I keep my knives and I had to take a really good look at it because guess what um, I uh, I was running out of room on knives on the drawer that I have on my daily user so I had to go put some away in my vault and uh, my vault consists of a much larger toolbox that I keep locked uh, my knives locked up in and uh, like a four foot toolbox and I had to put a lot of knives away and a lot of those knives were stockman knives so now i'm gonna make some, i made some room and uh because i move them up the drawers as i have knives that i'm gonna do videos on and knives that i've already made videos on and i have a system and once i retired for a while i put it away in my quote vault unquote so check out that beautiful micarta right and check out this blue inlay in the micarta that's really interesting but it's like an electric blue at first, I wasn't sure if I liked that, but it's really starting to grow on me. And it's got this kind of a slant going on the bolster. It's got a slant bolster type of design, um, very similar to traditional knives. Some old uh, John Primble uh, and some old Boker, they used a slant bolster. It's also got a dimple right here on the bolster. Very nice, very nice. And these are nickel silver bolsters. I mean, this just has a great deal of of quality that you just don't see in an economical knife. I didn't pay very much for this knife, guys. I got it on eBay, and I think for all of this quality that you see, 20 bucks is a very fair price for this knife. And that is what I paid. I paid about 20 bucks for this knife. So, I mean, I'm really happy with it. I highly recommend it. You know, I haven't as yet used it because this is kind of like an unboxing, but I wanted to show it to you guys. But in any case, I'm glad you guys are joining me today. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Every every 500 uh, gains, every 500 subscribers I get, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a giveaway, guys. But uh, I just wanted to let you know, thank you so much uh, for checking out my channel. Um, check out my playlists. I have playlists and I have videos on knives that you may never have heard of. Guys, think about it. There have been all these beautiful knives that have come out before we were even born. Knives that, that you know, you may not have thought existed. Well, I may have some of those in my playlists. So go back and check my archives and see if you see anything familiar. Something that may inspire you to go knife detecting. All right, guys, this has been another video from Knife Detector. And again, let me give you another look at this, this beautiful Kydex uh, flashlight holder from Anxiety, right? This is an awesome, you know what? Hurricane season is upon us. And where I live, hurricanes sometimes hit really bad. So I'm very grateful that they send me this flashlight and this holder because more than likely I will be using this. And I'm gonna keep this in a place where I'm gonna use it. Well, that's all, my friends. You know, I hope you guys have enjoyed your weekend and you're having a fantastic weekend still. Uh, take care, amigos. Uh, you know, I'm making this video on a Saturday night, you know. Uh, I hope you had a great weekend <laughs> because you're going to be seeing this video on a Monday. <laughs> so take care, my friends. God bless.